I have to admit, I did not want this fight to happen. Even though both fighters wanted it. Even though the public wanted it. And even though I would have made a ridiculous amount from it, I did not want this fight to happen because I did not want to risk two tragedies happening to the same family. But we know Raymond Bishop, a fine boxer, a fine young man, is going to recover fully from his injuries I am proud to announce T.L. McQueen Promotions is bringing you the fight the challenger has been demanding. The fight the champion has been demanding. The fight you have been demanding. Isaac Frost versus Andre Bishop for the heavyweight championship of the world. May the best man win. Welcome to Las Vegas, Nevada for this heavyweight championship fight. Tonight, from the NGM Grand on the Vegas Strip, heavyweight champion Isaac Frost looks to defend his belt against Andre Bishop. Of course, Andre Bishop, once a middleweight prospect, the much smaller man now as a comebacking heavyweight. But he is full of revenge, looking to avenge his brother Raymond's loss to Isaac Frost, Teddy emotions running high emotions that must be controlled you know you want to get after somebody you think about boxing you think about maybe getting angry going and hitting what you're angry at you get angry in this business you get hit more so it's going to be the job of bishop and his people to make sure they control those emotions all night long isaac frost ring walks have been known as circus spectaculars but yet with all that to him, it's a moment of extreme attention. Okay, this is good, this is good. Any questions from the challenger? Any questions from the champion? Yeah, I got one. That's a little Raymond though, I'm sorry. Okay, 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 break it up. I wanna see a nice, clean fight. Touch up. This guy is a freaking animal. Don't even try to win the first couple of rounds. Just survive. Let him tire himself out. Yeah, I got it. I mean it, kid. This guy's a friggin' animal. You seen what he done to Raymond? Use your feet. Keep your hands up. Stick around for a couple of rounds and he'll get frustrated. I guarantee you. I got it, Gus. fight is underway here. Andre Bishop, the veteran who now seeks to avenge the brutal beating laid down on his brother Raymond from Isaac Frost. Many are wondering, can Andre even survive being in the ring with Isaac Frost? Wasting no time in getting right after Andre Bishop. So, Teddy, here we have a power puncher against a fast and speedy fighter. And if you're the speedy, he is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. 
Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that they've had someone hurt, they get a little callous, they get caught. He better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. Good step back counterpunch there. Oh, you gotta love Isaac Cross there landing the uppercut. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. Able to cover up that gut. Big, big uppercut from Isaac Frost, who's a big, big man. When the dangerous power-punching world champion Isaac Frost fought Raymond Bishop, Andre's younger brother, he had damaged him at this point of the fight. Not the case tonight as Andre is playing it safe. Well, I think what the case is tonight is Bishop learned from the mistakes of his younger brother. He's not making those mistakes. He's not standing in front of the bigger frauds too long. He's controlling his ego. He's keeping it all about business. Box smart for me, all right? I want to see more jabs and keep your distance. Wait for the opening, right? You got it? Andre Bishop could look for the and Bishop is stunned. He just took a huge punch. Oh! Andre Bishop is on the canvas. This is where an aggressive attitude and personality hurts you because he's probably not going to think about grabbing, and he should. This is nothing new to Bishop. He's been down in life and inside the ring, and he's gotten up. He knows how to behave. He's been in those circumstances outside the ring, and that will serve him right here. A good block. Hey. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. Bishop's not doing his thing. He's just standing there. What in the world is he doing? Well, what he's doing is he's telling you, I'm not confident. I'm not sure of myself. I don't know what to do. You see him zeroing in with that left hand to the body. Deep There you go. And now he's targeting upstairs. He's starting to gain some momentum here, especially if he can keep connecting with the left hand like that. Isaac Frost is so good with that left. Good work, kid. Beautiful work. Like we talked about. He's slowing down a bit. So let's help him out a little. What do you say? I want you to go downstairs and give him some power shots now. I want you to chop that wood for three rounds. Got it? Knock the air out of his lungs. Three rounds. Power shots. Pound that body. You got it? I got it. Pound that body. Good man. And round number three is underway. A target on his head, and he places the hook right on it. All of a sudden, a glimmer of hope for Andre Bishop. That was a good body shot. 
Andre Bishop's blocking ability is doing well for him there. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Andre Bishop. Good stuff from Andre Bishop right here. Going to the body. Good, consistent work rate. Solid right hand lands. Isaac Frost's opponent may regret not jumping all over him. Frost able to recover. Frost probably one of those guys that has that clock in his head trying to think about how much time is left in this round after getting hurt. Yeah, he is, and I can speak on that because I happened to go to his training camp before this fight, and I watched him train a little bit. He got shooken up a little bit in sparring. He knew what to do. He grabbed, he walked around, he killed a little time. He's got to do it now. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. Good left hand by Frost. Great movement to get away from those punches. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. Stay away from those. Come on. Solid hook upstairs. And we come to the end of the round. I need to see more shots of the body. Break the body. Nice work, Isaac. Exactly like that. I want to see another round like that, okay? Just like that. Now let's let's keep moving out there. Don't let him get off on your body, all right? He's still throwing nothing but body shot. Keep the elbows tight and look for the counter. Throw. Throw punches, okay? Don't Just don't walk into him without throwing a punch. Here we go with the fourth round. Bishop's corner is probably wondering what effect the last round is going to have as we start this round. Remember, he was stunned in that last round. Yeah, he was stunned. He's got to behave like a pro, like a real fighter now. He's got to be able to have a... Bishop in a tough spot right here. He just got decked. Now, the problem with a fighter who's been confident and been the boss throughout his career is that, you know, he's not used to tying up. It's almost like against his pride. He doesn't want to tie up. Relax, relax. Very accurate with the overhand right. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, he's a... Andre Bishop is in a bad spot right now. Wow. Down goes Bishop. Andre Bishop back up, but is he back in this fight? I think it could still be dangerous. A wounded animal is always something you have to be cautious with. And right now, Andre Bishop can be dangerous, can catch his opponent, maybe coming in a little reckless. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. If there's one thing Isaac Frost can do is generate power. Boy, did he just deliver some power with that uppercut. Final 10 seconds. This is turning into an interesting fight now because Andre it, Bishop is actually down. having That's success landing body, body punches against the body. world champion Isaac right? Frost. Well, Bishop's trying to remove some of that air out of the balloon. Go downstairs, slow him down a little bit. Maybe discourage him a little bit. 
that's what I tell you. Keep your hands up. You're throwing punches, but your hands are down. Are you good? Here you go. Focus now. Focus. Bishop's corner tried to steady him and give him some sound advice with the six. And all of a sudden now, the first stream of blood on Andre Bishop. His eye has a cut just above it. This is not what we expected, but Isaac Frost, all his power, all his pressure, it is being slowed down by Andre Bishop in that body attack. Bishop able to land another body shot against Frost. Bishop's not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. There's the hook. Big left hand. Wow! And Bishop goes down. He's been here before. He knows what to do. Now this is like a microcosm of his life. He's been down outside the ring before and has gotten up too. And that will serve him because he has survived very difficult things outside the ring. And he is thinking of that right now, believe me. That is a big shot. Andre Bishop is on shaky legs. And you know what's going to hurt him now, Joe? He's such a cocky fighter, such an offensive minor fighter. He doesn't know how to tie up. Combination punching by Isaac Frost there. The big man can put his punches together. How about that, guys? Oh, it ain't pretty. But we can handle it. You gotta give us some time, Trey. Protect that eye. Don't let Frost touch it or the ref will stop this fight for sure. No way. Give us a couple of rounds. We'll get it under control. Don't let him mess it up. I got you. I got you. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride. Punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. This is where his opponent could use a construction hard hat. If Isaac Frost is throwing a right hand like that, it could be lights out. Stay away from those. Come on. Isaac Frost really targeting that cut above the eye now. He's looking for a TKO here. You know he's trying to make more damage to Andre. Bishop doing a good job, though, of protecting him. Dismiss that body shot. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Let's see some defense. 
Bishop. Andre Bishop may be a TKO victim very soon here. That cut has worsened, and Frost is getting after it. Keep popping the jabs, Isaac. I want to see that jab. Looking good. Headshots, champ. Back to the Nice Andre Bishop has come this cut. far, and he survived the against the intimidating Isaac Frost. But he may lose this title fight right based on a TKO stoppage. That so cut over his eye right may threaten his immediate future. And what it might do immediately right now in the ring is make him start taking chances. Make him gamble a little bit where he wouldn't have with the bigger guy. Here we go. Action to start the seventh round. Isaac Frost corner has to be pleased with everything they've seen so far tonight. Consensus ringside is that this is a one-sided fight, that he's in complete control on the scorecards. Yeah, well, he's having his way, and it's not going to change unless he gets a little cocky here. If he starts looking for maybe one shot instead of putting them together the way he's doing, maybe it allows his opponent to have a little bit of hope, a little ray of hope to get back in this fight. That's it! Just like that! Just like that! Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Straight hook! Straight hook! The big burly heavyweight, Isaac Frost, with a sharp left hand. Isaac Frost having a masterful round defensively. I love what we're seeing from the footwork with him. Very good movement, sound defensively. Is there anything he should be considering adding to that arsenal, though, right now? Well, he's got to find spots for offense. You know, he's making his opponent miss. He's getting him off bounds. He's frustrating him a little bit. You know, pop at the right time. You know, let it fly a little bit in the right spot. You keep your guy off balance. When you got him off balance, you make him miss, make him pay. DeAndre Bishop, that training Keep really paid off. Isaac. Just back to base from the one, two, boom, boom. Tires right back at him. When you're the smaller man, sometimes you need to be the smarter man. And that's the case with Andre Bishop landing that jab. an ice-cold right hand by Isaac Frost. Upstairs, 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 upstairs. Took a shot, now he gives the left. Commits to the straight right. Hey, quit playing around with him and put that bastard away. Okay, nice work out there, kid. Looking good. Bleeding's under control. You know, that could have helped us out a little bit. I mean, he's even more tired now. He spent a lot of energy trying to take you out. Yeah. Still seems like he's got a bit left. Yeah? Well, you got more. You got more energy. You got more power. And you got more heart. God, you got more heart than any other fighter I've ever known. Now, you turn it up. You take the fight to that fucker and he won't know what hit him. This is your fight now, Andre. Take it to him. That's all you had to say, guys. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even, closely contested bout throughout. Teddy, when you've been in the corner in your career and you have a charge, who is not making a lot of contact. What do you tell him? Andre Bishop looking good right here. Andre Bishop is now consistently landing on Isaac Cross, Teddy. He's starting to look like that early in the schoolyard where all of a sudden the school kids... Big plus shot. And Frost goes down. Frost has never been down. The heavyweight champion of the world is on the canvas. Can he beat the count? Frost trying to get up. He goes down again. It's all over. It's all over. There's a new heavyweight champion of the world, and his name is Andre Bishop. Hey up, bitches.
it! You did it! Woo! Yes! Smart. You did it! Yes. I knew you could do it! Alright! Look at you! Oh, I knew you could do it, Andre! I'm proud of you! I hope we can work together now. Oh, I'd love to listen to you. But you might have some problems running things from the pit. We had a deal. You gave me your word. She didn't give you my word. You had no idea who you were fucking with. Deal! You better get me out of this! Hey! You better... Deal! Deal! Deal!